I'm Wander001, and in this video, I will be covering the super secret method of cord cutting that I use. It's not really super secret. Uh, like I said in the introduction video, it kind of sounds really cliche and kitschy. Uh, I do have a feeling, though, that this video will probably end up sounding more like a PSA for your local library than a actual cord cutting video, although it is a legitimate means of cord cutting. Uh, what I mean by PSA, uh, obviously public service announcement. Uh, I do know people that work at my local library. Uh, really, I haven't been in a library probably since I got out of uh, middle school. But with that said, uh, the super secret method of uh, cord cutting for this video is using your public library as a means to get TV series, movies, video games, you name it, for free. You do not need to pay for anything. All you need to do is have a library card, and as I'm talking, I'll probably have a little roll up there of uh, filming through my local library. Remember, don't do that without express permission because even though it is a public place, they don't like you doing that. Uh, so, like I said before, uh, library has both TV series, old and new, uh, they have video games for just about all the major consoles that are out right now, PlayStation, uh, actually PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. Um, they have both children's titles, specific area for children's titles, specific area for adult titles, uh, both broken down into TV series as well as movies. And they do have a better release cycle than something like a Redbox, a Netflix, a Amazon On Demand. Uh, for the purposes of that, I'm going to use this video here, The Hobbit. And then it disappears because I don't want to get sued for copyright infringement. Um, I picked this up at my local library this weekend. Uh, this video, depending on when it comes out, this is the weekend of April 7th. This particular video went on sale March 13th. The library, where I got this, also had it on March 13th. The movie was out in December of uh, 2012. So there's a faster turnaround, obviously, with movies nowadays. Uh, Netflix, both instant and DVD, I could not find this movie listed anywhere. If you're going to do something like a Redbox, Redbox has the movie coming to their service on 416, so April 16th. Uh, that's a month after the public library has it. And again, with a library card, you do not have to pay for this to take it out. And normally it's like a three-day rental. Redbox, you have to pay, but I know it's like a ridiculously low fee, but free or a dollar. I'd rather, you know, do it for free. And like I said, with the TV shows, it's a good way to watch things like Game of Thrones. If you don't have HBO or HBO Go, uh, my library has Game of Thrones. That's how I got caught up on the first season. I'm slowly working my way through the second season. The only difficulties that I could see with doing this particular method of cord cutting is if your public library is a smaller library, it might not have access to as large of a collection as you might be watching up here somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna stick that yet. Uh, also, because you are waiting for the DVDs to come out and you're not watching it when the actual show is coming out, you will be a little behind uh, so that water cooler discussion you might be missing out on and you kind of have to avoid spoilers on the internet if you so go about that. Um, but yeah, as of right now, these are the main methods. Click here to see my video discussing all the methods uh, for cord cutting. There are a few others uh, that I use. They're kind of smaller. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video on them. Maybe I'll just throw a description out there somewhere. But... Um, Wander 001, doing either a PSA or a, another option for cord cutting, depending on how you want to look at this video. Check out your local library. Free DVDs that uh, come out much faster than Redbox or Netflix. Don't forget, they do more than just books.